Well, this is the Anglophile Channel here in Hollywood at the premiere of Dimensions, the movie. I've got with me director and the writer Sloane Uren, yes, Aunt Neely, who, who wrote it. Please tell us your journey. Your journey is so fascinating because I read an article that said you actually sold your house to get the funds to make your dream project. Tell us about that. Uh, well, we decided that it was time that we actually made our own film. I'd worked on many feature films before and Aunt has worked in the industry and we just thought it's time to do our own thing, to make our own film. And there was really no other viable option because I'd not even directed a short before and, and you know, Aunt hadn't had a film produced and he'd only written a few scripts. So it was sort of like if we make the, we either make this happen ourselves or it's not gonna. It's not gonna get off the ground. So you really believed in your film, and tell me, tell me about the story. Tell me how you came up with it, because it's so fascinating. The whole Merchant Ivory meets time travel. I love that. The location we shot at was a location we had access to. It was uh, my brother's house. So, and it was twenties, and it's such a, a beautiful, graceful. It's uh, on the River Cam in Cambridge. Uh, and it's just so. There's something about the atmosphere there is just quite amazing. So, we went to visit him, and we sort of fell in love with that. And and. I think he was joking, he said, you could shoot a film here. And then meanwhile, uh, I guess getting older and being really aware of time, passing, uh, I think just got me a little bit fascinated with that. And then I started, I got a little bit obsessed with these uh, videos about uh, understanding different dimensions and the passage of time and, and what time really is and it all sort of amalgamated and I just met the one of the, the characters the professor who you'll meet t tonight he just sort of you know wandered into my head and, and that was the beginning of the story if you could travel back in time to a place in your childhood or any time in your life or any time in history when where would that be wow uh, because I would go back to 1995 Pride and Prejudice and it would be me dancing with Colin Firth. Okay, but I digress. You must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love. I don't know, I think I, um, there's a few places I'd go to. I, I, I enjoyed my childhood, but I think I'd probably go back to, um, yeah, I'd pr probably go back to school as well and, and yeah, see how things might be different. I, I, I... I guess part of me, I would go back to my childhood. Yes, there's, there's definitely moments. We lived for a while in the Middle East and had these amazing memories. And, we, and I was at that 10 or 11 when we left, but I have some amazing memories of that. Uh, but then I'd love to just jump through time and see, you know, just there's so many fascinating... I mean, I'd, I'd love to go back and, you know, see the Rolling Stones, Jimmy Hendrix, all those, the, the bands in England when they were all came out, you know, came over and were playing in sort of Windsor and London. Tell me, what's what's next for you? Because this, this film looks absolutely brilliant. It's gorgeous. It's right up my alley with the whole Merchant Ivory and time travel, the two of my favorite things in the world. So what's next for you guys? The, the trick is now <laughs> is to make another film, uh, which is always the bit of a magic trick. It's very, very difficult. We have a couple of scripts at the moment and we've uh, met with some people and we've started to push those forward. So fingers crossed, this will be the first. Do you, do you have to sell a house to do it? No, uh, we're gonna have to sell someone else's yeah, house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know, I, I hear uh, Spielberg has a really nice house. I think that could pay for a couple I'm of bills. I'm sure he'd loan us the keys. You know, he's probably got a few. Yeah. I mean, he would, would he miss one? He's not going to miss them. I, okay, so Stephen, give them a call because I think uh, they need one of your houses to sell because I think one day the Oscars, yeah? That'd be nice. That'd be fun. Yeah. It'd be good. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking to me. Impromptu. It was lovely. Best of luck to you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.